Do you feel good about the Bills heading yeah. into Miami? Yeah, I told you a month and a half ago the Bills were going to win out and uh, win the division against the Miami Dolphins, and now we're one game away from that happening. Uh, look, it doesn't matter how you win as long as you win. New England beat them earlier this year, so maybe New England understands how to play the Buffalo Bills. But look, the Dolphins have clinched the playoff spot. Uh, that's it, uh, meaning that they'll drop down to six if they lose the game, depending on what some other teams do. As you said, the Bills could go all the way out of the playoffs, but the Bills are just playing better football right now. Plus, the Dolphins lose Bradley Chubb yesterday. Yeah, uh, why is he in the game yeah. three minutes ago? I have no idea. Uh, but they lose him to a torn ACL, and now they're reeling a little bit. Even though winning against Dallas, good win. But not impressive, of course, from a dominating standpoint. And now you go up against a team that beat you earlier this year, 48 to 20. So now we're going to learn a lot about kind of the mental makeup of the Dolphins. But I'm heavy on the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, I, I'm listen. I think the Bills are going to go down there and get the job done. But you got to give Josh Allen credit, especially that final job being he was a master on third down. He absolutely knew what to do with the football in that last minute. But overall, the Buffalo Bills, man, this is a game you got to have it. Like, I don't, you know, he's talking about get good game. You yeah. got to have it. You got to have it. You got to win because you don't want to leave it up to somebody else. And when you're talking about what this offense is doing right now, it is to your point, Craig, they know who they are, right? It's not just about Stephon Diggs getting him the ball. They're running the ball well. Josh Allen's doing his job. They're, they're, they're doing great things in the past game. So I, I'm, I'm confident about the Bills. The problem I have is, the, to your point, is the Dolphins, right? Yeah. And I think that, that game snapped their necks uh, against the Baltimore Ravens. Well, you lose Bradley Chubb. You get exposed a little bit. Uh, and you showed – now, look, the reality, though, is – you know, not every team plays the same type of physical ball and right. defense that the Ravens I play. I told you. So, I know you did. It's not like, you oh, that's the script. I told you. We can just read the script and do what they did. Not everyone's got that personnel yeah. to put that kind of pressure on Tua the way they did. But if I'm Buffalo, I'm uber confident. Number one, I'm favorites, I believe, right? Yeah, Three-point favorites be, on the road. Got to be favorites. Uh, down in Miami, number one. Number two, I've already beaten them and put a 48-burger on that defense. And now that defense lost arguably its best player. Yeah. Yeah, and all top, on top of that, this is a Bill defense that's dealing with a lot of injuries as well. I think the best addition for the Bills is Rasul Douglas, man. Yeah. He's been money. Douglas had a couple turnovers, and uh, Josh Allen also threw, threw a couple. <laughs> he threw some. Yeah, some I, questionable I, balls. I'm trying to give Big Phil some love. As a Bills fan, I'm always like, there's always like, there's, there's always like two times a game where you're just like, Josh, what are you doing? Yeah. He, what are you doing? He goes wild Cowboys and sometimes. And in, in, in a must-win game like it is in Miami this weekend, Josh Allen's just sort of like, Concerns me. Yeah. yeah, look, they scored 27 points. One, you saw the interception right there. I don't know who Bailey Zappi saw the ball to other than <laughs> you know, the Bills' defense. And the Bills said, look, it doesn't matter how you do it. You yeah. just have to do it. And now it sets up this amazing you know, playoff game atmosphere. But I'm not getting off the Bills. I told you guys a month ago okay. that the Buffalo Bills were making the run. <laughs> and now who, who comes home to roost? The cows? Chickens. Uh, chickens? Yeah, they almost, nah, wait, chickens wait, they almost lost to the Chargers, right? So what? I don't know how invested you don't are. Don't give me almost. Don't give me almost. Oh, a win's a win. I, oh, <laughs> you killed it. You moved the goalpost like nobody's been yeah, there. A win's a win, especially in week 17. I get a dub I have to have. I get a dub. And now it sets up for Bills, Dolphins. Dolphins. Plus, I'm not sure the status of Tua hurt his shoulder late in the game yeah. uh, this weekend. But it's going to be awesome. AFC East Division on the line, Bills, Dolphins. Can you imagine this fall from grace for Miami? Oh, A man. month ago, the Dolphins are sitting there. We're the number one seed, yeah. and now you may not win the division. You might not get a home game, and you might be the sixth seed. And you got exposed. Like it, it was one thing that it's one thing to say the Baltimore Ravens out physical the Miami Dolphins. That was good. But it, if you talk about after that first drive, uh, Mike McDonald, the defensive coordinator for the Ravens, did a hell of a job to say we're not going to let Tyreek beat us. Right? We talked about right. that last right. week. Like I'm not going to let that one guy beat us. And once that happened. It was insane. The Dolphins couldn't do anything. Like, even after Moser went down and this offline started getting beat up and you started to see the, the Ravens oppose their will, this defense looked like they got bigger on film. Kind of like if you played the old NBA, you put in the code, the big heads. Like, it <laughs> looked like they got bigger as the game yeah, went yeah. on. The Dolphins and got smaller. That first so. drive looked really good for the Dolphins. I feel Tyreek dropping that touchdown kind of killed them. Oh, it's, 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 killed yeah, their momentum. momentum. Right sure. Yeah. All right, what else we got? Next, second in football, we have the Rams. Question for you, Craig, is did yesterday's win over the Giants make you feel better or worse about the Rams as they hey, had Look, the again, you just got to win. It's a, it's a road game, a 1 o'clock game for a West Coast team. They got lucky because Tyrod Taylor missed a wide-open Saquon Barkley on the two-point conversion Ooh, to win the game. 
Uh, missed Darren Waller uh, a couple times throughout the game as well. So the Rams played probably their worst game in a month, but they steal the W. They're now a lock. They're in the playoffs, and now it's about seeding for them. But I think the Rams are a problem. I think the Rams, if it stays the way it is right now, I would not be shocked if the Rams go into Detroit and give the Lions a lot of problems. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I've been a, a pseudo Matthew uh, Stafford fan. Um, he threw two picks yesterday. Uh, he didn't look good. No. Actually, he looked like somebody who wanted to go home. Um, and, and listen, I know he threw for 317 yards. And scored 26 and scored points on the road. 100%. But at the end of the day, there's a high, it, this is a defense that's a bad defense, right? And I know the Giants got a lot of pride overall, but I expected him to light up with a four-touchdown game, and that didn't happen. He just looked off. Like, he didn't yeah. look like the yeah. guy. I, but look, it's like we said last week, week. It, there is something to be said about a West Coast team coming east, playing at 1 o'clock. You've yeah. dealt with that, of course, in your career. You know, sitting home in Pittsburgh waiting for a West Coast team right. to come to you. But they won the game, and they scored 26 points on the road. And, yeah, the Giants stink, and, yeah, the Giants should have won the game late on that Tyrod Taylor missed to Saquon Barkley. But the Rams are now a playoff team. And back in January, when I said they were a poop show <laughs> and no draft picks, cap problems, aging quarterback, yes. aging roster, you know, their GM has done a real good job in the draft. Yeah. Obviously, Eddie Puka, no Puka, Puka, who's now well, arguably the best wide receiver Rookie wide receiver in all the NFC made a couple other really good draft picks, and the Rams are a problem now because you have a veteran Super Bowl champion quarterback. You've got a coach who knows what he's doing, yes, who's been to two Super Bowls himself, and I'm telling you right now, the Detroit Lions, I'm not saying they lose. That is a problem for them because the Rams will go into Detroit and put a 30-burger on that defense. Yeah, especially when you know the Rams have Puka Nuku and you Cooper Cup and they got Tutu Atwell and the rest of the game. Tyron Williams Tyron out of Williams. nowhere. Like, they have an offense. And if you one thing you watch, you saw out of Detroit Lions uh, defense, that secondary is extremely like, Swiss cheese. I mean, yes. CeeDee Lamb has like a breakout of all people, has a record-setting day. Yeah. It lets you know that Detroit Lions defense is susceptible. Yeah, which again is why the bad referee call in the Detroit-Dallas yeah. game negatively impacts the Detroit Lions with who they're going to play against. So uh, it is what it is now. Can't change it. But they're on a collision course for what's going to be a very, very tight-knit uh, wild-card game in the playoffs. Moving on to third and football. The Bucs need a win over the Panthers to win the division. Do you see Baker and the Bucs closing it out next Sunday? Yeah, this is the meaningless game yesterday. I know everyone wants to put a lot into it because, oh, you know, you could wrap up the division, and you didn't. And now the Saints play the Falcons this week. Winner of that, eh, stop, slow your roll. The number one easiest path to the playoff is to have the Carolina Panthers yeah. as a late-season I mean, opponent. And that's what Tampa if you, has. If you lose to the Panthers, you shouldn't be in the playoffs. Right. So Tampa's going to win the division. They get a home playoff game, and that's that. I don't care what uh, happens in the Atlanta-New Orleans game. This game was irrelevant for Tampa because you know you've got Carolina on the back end, yeah. and a win gives you the division. Yeah, but Baker played like dude. Doesn't matter. Yeah, like, what, like, Red Hot they, they they doesn't matter, Craig. Like, the man only, it, the, prior to this game, he had thrown throw two interceptions in the month of December. Yeah. He was the hottest quarterback, one of the hottest quarterbacks in the league. Right. And he absolutely pooped the bed yes. at points. home. He was terrible. They had zero points didn't mean anything. the first three quarters of the game. Yeah. Didn't mean anything. It's a guaranteed W next week. It was a meaningless game. So that's why I know everyone else this is like, is, When you oh say things God. like that, it yeah. really chaps my ass. God. Because for football players, yeah. it always matters. Nah. You don't want to crawl into the playoffs. You need all your confidence, all your guys healthy. Yeah. you got to be firing at all c cylinders. So here's the and deal. you're telling me it doesn't matter. It doesn't. They will go into the playoffs winning three out of their last four games. All good. Four out of four is better. All good. But th this was for the division. No, no. Next week is for the division. But you had a chance to beat the Saints at home for but the division, it didn't and you fumbled the bag. You're playing a high school team next weekend. It's a guaranteed W. Yeah, but the that Tampa make Bay Buccaneers good. are hosting a playoff game. Sometimes we like to overreact <clears throat> to things happening well, in the maybe NFL. Maybe should react. But what happened with Red Hot Baker Mayfield? Remember we talking about Red Hot Baker Mayfield? Yeah. And he was playing so well. What he, he did in gravy. Lambeau? Yeah. He was playing so great, so great, so great. Oh, maybe they'll upset the, the Cowboys or whoever they play. Yeah. Now I don't feel like the same about the. Yeah, Buccaneers. but it doesn't matter. 
matter because they're in and they're hosting a home playoff game, which means they're going to go into the playoffs. Is that off what a you big tell, if you were a head coach? Would yeah. you tell your guys <laughs> at the loss at home? Yeah. Hey guys, doesn't matter. Nothing to see here. Let's wrap it up. That's right. Drinks on me. See you at seven. Honestly, I never thought, thought the about? Cardinals yeah. would beat the Eagles. I never thought the Cardinals would beat yeah. the Eagles. Right. I could see it happening. Off, off day. Monday, Tuesday, everybody. <laughs> Matter of fact, I give you off till Thursday <laughs> <laughs> because you're not going to lose to the Carolina Panthers. Like. I, I'm the only voice to reason. You also on said television. the Dolphins, right? The Dolphins, the Dolphins, who average 31 points a game with Mike Mendez and yeah. Tyreek Hill, the best receiver. They're going to dominate the Ravens. Yeah, I never said they're going to dominate what the Ravens. What did you say? Is that a I said they'd give the Ravens a good game. <laughs> Oops. That was a horrible game. Oops. Why, why, why? I'm just saying. What do I, I, I'm just saying you can be wrong sometimes. Yeah, well, matter of fact, I'm right a lot. If I could go to Let's my do board it. here. Let's do it. Let's I've do got it. my uh, my receipt board here. The wall Let's of receipts. See. 49 over Eagles locked. That's Craig. Done. Win, yep. win, win, win. And now we've got some losses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not all wins. Now, we got to own some losses here on this show. Yep. So, for one, one loss we have to own. The Vikings will reach the playoffs. Ugh. Yeah, that did, that's yeah, a no, no, Jared, Jared that's Hall a loss. Got to take the loss on that's that one. That's out fast. Uh, let's see. Got to take a loss on that one. What else um, you got? Cowboys will beat the Dolphins in Miami. Yeah, I got to take a loss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it didn't happen. Take a loss. Go ahead, take a loss. Go ahead, take a loss. Loss on that one. You're right a lot, Craig. Craig, Craig, you're right a lot. Oh, here's one. Jacoby said the Steelers will oh. finish. Oh! Here we go. Where's that damn towel? When, when, they, when they announced Mason Rudolph yeah, as the starter, I, I was like, almost guaranteed. Mason Rudolph is hot. Now, Mason this one Rudolph says on December 12th, the Bills will win the AFC East. Oh. Still alive. I, why do we move that one? That should be Yeah, yeah, put that in the middle. That's, that's, that's that in the middle. middle. Let's move that right Yeah, that's here. hot. There you put go. Put that one right there where it belongs. Front and center. Uh, what that, else we got? Broncos are Super Bowl contenders. Ugh. Just Craig's not yeah, really just, part of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throw, Throw that, that out of here. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Everything else. As of right now, I believe is still in play. Uh, right. TJ Watt is not an MVP candidate. No, he's not. What do not. you mean? Yeah. He's not. Yeah. Boom. He's not. Done. You're it's out. Clearly still bald. <laughs> there you go. Anyhow. Give him gotta, a shot. We do have a few left. And remember this. As we get ready for week 18, uh, the final week, it's all about the Bills and the Dolphins. And remember this. When it comes to football and understanding what games are important and what games are important. Don't listen to the guy. No, listen to me. <laughs> Don't listen to I the guy. I told you about the Cardinals. <laughs> told you about the Ravens, right? Dubs, both of them. Uh-huh. Hey there. Thank you so much for watching the Carton Show. You can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from the show. And by the way, while you're at it, we have a lot of great shows on FS1. So check them out, too.